Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. In our previous two videos, I discussed two of the depth areas that you can take for your PE exam, geotechnical and construction. And in this week's video, I will be reviewing in detail the structural depth portion of the civil PE exam to help you decide if this might be the right option for you. You can find links to the first two videos in the description below. This video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. There are five different areas that you can choose from when taking the PE civil exam, which are PE civil geotechnical, PE civil construction, PE civil structural, which we're going to review today, PE Civil Transportation, and PE Civil Water Resources and Environmental. Now, remember that the PE Civil Structural Exam is a breadth and depth examination. What does that mean? The breadth items, typically known as the morning section, cover topics from all areas of civil engineering. However, the depth items, also known as the afternoon section, focus more closely on a single area of practice, like for example, construction engineering. Please note the PE civil structural exam is not, and I repeat, is not the same as the SE or structural engineering exam. The PE civil structural exam is one you would take to obtain your professional engineering license, while the SE exam is one that you would take to obtain your structural engineering license. So what is structural engineering? In the field of civil engineering, structural engineering involves the design and analysis of structural components of buildings and non-building structures. It includes calculating the stresses and forces that affect or arise within a structure. Now, major concerns are related to the designing of structures that are resistant to seismic activity, earthquakes, or explosions that cause the earth to shake, and retrofitting existing structures for seismic resistance. Here are a few things to note about the civil structural computer-based CBT exam. The exam includes 80 questions. The exam appointment time is nine hours, and it includes a non-disclosure agreement, which usually takes two minutes, a tutorial, which takes about eight minutes, the exam, which is eight hours, and one scheduled break of approximately 50 minutes. What topics can you expect to see on this exam? The following examples of the knowledge areas are not exclusive or exhaustive, but this is what you can expect to be tested on in this exam. Project planning, such as quantity takeoff methods, cost estimating, and project schedules. Means and methods, such as construction loads, construction methods, and temporary structures and facilities. Soil mechanics, such as lateral earth pressure, soil consolidation, effective and total stresses. Structural mechanics, such as dead and live loads, trusses, bending, for example, moments and stresses, and shear. Hydraulics and hydrology, such as open channel flow and stormwater collection and drainage. Geometrics, such as basic circular curve elements, for example, middle, ordinate, length, cord, radius, and basic vertical curve elements. Materials, such as soil classification and boring log interpretation. Soil properties, for example, strength, permeability, compressibility, phase relationships, and concrete, for example, reinforced and non-reinforced. Site development, such as excavation and embankment, for example, cut and fill. Construction site layout and control, 
and temporary and permanent soil erosion and sediment control. Analysis of structures such as dead and live loads, construction loads, wind loads, and seismic loads. Design and details of structures such as materials and material properties, component design and detailing. Codes and construction such as codes, standards, guidance documents, and temporary structures. Still not sure if this specific exam is for you? Let's look at the passing rates for the PE Civil Structural CBT exam. As of December 2021, the PE Civil Structural Depth has a 62% pass rate for first time takers and a 42% pass rate for repeat takers. You can see the full list of passing rates on the NCWS website. Now let's compare them to the PE Civil Geotechnical and Construction Depth exams that we discussed in the previous two videos. The Construction Depth exam had a 53% pass rate for first time takers and a 37% passing rate for repeat takers. And the Geotechnical Depth portion had a 54% pass rate for first time takers and a 30% pass rate for repeat takers. So you can see the PE Structural Depth exam has the highest pass rate so far at 62% for first time takers. Hopefully this information will give you a better idea of what to expect on the PE Civil Structural CBT exam. Remember to consider your experience and interests and check the passing rates when deciding which depth section for your civil PE exam to take. Lastly, I would strongly recommend to also preview the exam by doing some exam prep courses that offer a variety of live and on-demand classes. Looking at the previews of practice exams for each of these disciplines might help you to figure out which of them have problems that might best suit your strengths. For some great prep courses, visit our sponsor's website, PPI, today at PPI, the number two, pass.com to see all of the options available for PE exam prep. I hope you found this review helpful. You can find all of our videos in our playlist right here on YouTube called Civil Engineering Disciplines. In upcoming videos, I will review other civil engineering disciplines. And if you have any questions, fire away in the comments and I will respond to you. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE Exam.